You know what? The natural beauty, these brilliant colors, reds, yellows, oranges, greens. I think it's fall here in Salt Lake. Hey, welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Scott Huntsman. And I'm tail gunner Brett Hermanson. And I'm Chad Booth, the three amigos. <laughs> okay, but that means one of us has to be Chevy Chase. Well, apparently it's me. Everyone's I've looking got, at me. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I've got the scratch bike, so yeah, there you, know. you go. The yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're right. At, we're right approaching the peak of colors uh, out in the mountains of Utah. So we decided we were going to just blow everything off today and take a ride. And it's a heck of a route. It's one of my favorite trips. But you guys haven't been on all of it, right? No, I haven't. I've been on pieces of it, yep. but not all of this ride. Right. I've got it in my Google Maps, and I'm going to follow. Well, good. Then I'm following, too. Holy smokes, man. He's a little... Oh. Yeah, he likes he's me. He's in zoo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, hey, it's fall here. The bugs are out. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, um, this is a great trip. It's, an, it's a full day. It's about five hours of driving, seven hours by the time you stop and take in all the scenery. We're going to get to it. We're going to share the itinerary with you when we're done. Let's find out about this route. Today has been a good day. Today was a great ride. We started out saying we're going to go check out the uh, autumn colors today. Knew that we were going to go up Emigration Canyon. I love that ride. I love the ride going past uh, East Canyon Reservoir, down into Morgan. It's just all beautiful to me. I just love riding the motorcycle. It feels good. The trip as it was laid out. Uh, goes up over Immigration Canyon, over to East Canyon, crosses Trapper Loop, goes over the top of Monte Cristo, comes out at Woodruff, and works back down Mirror Lake Highway. Just after you come to the big overlook and you drop down pretty quick, I think those are my favorite parts of the trip. You know, it's just, it's this, this, you get into a rhythm, and those rhythm turns are just what, what makes biking so fun. You know, it was all great. Once you get up into the mountains, I just love just riding along on the, when you don't have stoplights and just nice curvy roads, that's the best. That's what I love, just getting up in the mountains. I love this Bear Lake Highway. You know, really about this time, maybe a little bit before, this time is the most beautiful, it starts getting a little cold, but you know, that's what you have heated seats and heated grips for. We just like to ride the feel, the sound, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on in your day. Jump on the motorcycle and go for a nice ride. And anything that's bothering you is out the window. You know, today has been just full of perfect sights. But I think my favorite thing about this trip is these little teeny tiny lakes and even little ponds like this. Oh, yeah. They're, they're all great. Yeah, they're a little nostalgic for me. Yep, I yes. love it all. The, air, the pines, the rocks, the leaves it's all beautiful up here brings me back to the times when i was just a little kid yeah my folks would bring me up here yeah i think i think we all have that heritage yes exactly especially since we're from utah right exactly well. <laughs> i think it's absolutely awesome well i think what you guys need, need to do is go check out this week's where to Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Here we are on the bikes at Mirror Lake, right next to the highway named after Mirror Lake. Mirror Lake. <laughs> Boy, amazing how you got that all put I together. That, I, I put it together all on it my It all own. came, yeah. it all came together, you know. What a great ride today. It is. I mean, oh, this, this, is is a, this, this is awesome. Anybody that rides gets oh. it. Yep. You know, we get it. I could get away from my shop. I'll come and do this any day of the week. Let me tell you, Way blood pressure's back. Exactly. Yeah. I you know, my, I think my blood pressure's down about three points. <laughs> it probably Maybe is. Maybe five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. You get the cuff out and check it because, uh, man, when you have the weather, it's not too hot. No. It's not too cold. It's just you got the warmth of the sun and the shadows darting across there. Fortunately, it's not deer yet. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if we if we tarry too long, that will be a problem. Yes. Might be. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful day, though. Great day. You know, each of us has our own tale of how we got into riding bikes. And, uh, and each of us has our own reasons for sticking with it. Well, we had a motorcycle when I was a kid, but I didn't do too much then. 
mainly when I became, went in the military, my friends all got together. We lived out east and we loved to go through New Hampshire, Vermont. We'd get on the motorcycles and just take off. And I had two motorcycles when I was in the Coast Guard. I always wanted a Goldwing though, and I finally got one. Now that I have enough money to afford one, I finally got my Goldwing. I think my dad was afraid because I was interested in theater as a kid that I wasn't going to be manly enough. So he bought a couple of motorcycles. They were Italian imports. They were, they were Benelli's. It's actually a really good bike. I'm sure his vision was that we were going to go riding together. But usually I would sneak it out of the house and just go <laughs> right around the neighborhood. It was one of my childhood friends uh, that uh, showed me how to ride a motorcycle the very first time. Once I got on there and I figured out how to work the clutch and shift it, uh, it was freedom for me. It was open air freedom. So it all started out with dirt bikes. My very first motorcycle was a 125 Suzuki. I rode that over so many dirt roads. I just loved every minute of it. Then I moved into an RM250 a motocross bike. I uh, started to learn to jump and wheelie and everything else until I wrecked it once really good and uh, didn't break any bones, but I decided I better, you know, take a different path. And then I moved into road bikes. I guess the best advice I've ever heard, um, when I first started riding, we had to take a safety course in order to ride our motorcycles on the base. And they said, ride that motorcycle like, like you're invisible because you are to everyone else. And that's probably the best advice you can give. You know, just be careful. Don't buy a bike too big for your, you know, what you can handle. Start out small and work your way up. So guys, one last thing. How long do you plan to ride? Till you're how old? <laughs> I hope it's still my last breath myself. I, I don't want to give it up. It feels too good. I mean, this is just, this is just relaxation beyond any other comprehension. I think as long as I can throw my leg up over the seat, there oh, you no, go. I, 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 I can just be lifted. As long as I can hold the bike up, I'm going to ride. Yeah, I might end up with a three-wheeler in the latter <laughs> days, but for now it's two wheels. Not sure I'll go that far, Brett, but, uh, but, but close. Uh, yep. Well, as long as I could still afford to put gas in it, how about that? Fair enough. <laughs> well. Speaking of down the road from here, let's go check out the along the way. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, making our way around the fall color loop of uh, the Mirror Lake Highway. Where are we at, Brad? This is Provo River Falls. Right next to the Mirror Lake Highway, by the way. <laughs> well, then how come it's not called the Provo River Drive? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe down here it is. You know, it's interesting. From the Uintas, the Weber River runs, and so does the Provo. So they go very different directions. Yep. But they all end up in the same place. Utah Lake, isn't it? No, it's, well, the Great Salt Lake. <laughs> oh, well, one of them lakes, I don't know. <laughs> It's beautiful, though. It is. It is. It's beautiful. I mean, you know, yeah, we don't have very much water coming down as a, you know, yeah, we got just normal. kind of a trickle today. Yeah. Normally it fills up that whole thing. Yeah, it's all right. Still works for me. But this is, but, but this is really cool. You get the sound of the ambiance. Though. Yes. That's true. There's a lot of ambiance coming your way over the next few days. Take a look at next week's show. Hey, you know, it looks like there's a lot of good stuff coming uh, here on At Your Leisure. That's true, and you can check it out. Uh, you can go AYL 24-7. That way you can get all the behind-the-scenes stuff. You can go to AYLTV.com, check out our blog, find out what we've been doing, watch this show again, or go to our social media channels. You don't ever have to spend a day without AYL. Right. There's a lot of content on that behind the scenes. Yeah, that's true. It might even get a little bit more today. In fact, half of our takes today are going to be behind the scenes because we exactly. can't put them on TV. Yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, we do need to get going. Uh, we've proven today once again that there is adventure around every bend. Just got to get out there and find it. At, at your leisure. leisure. Now, before the shadows jumping out of the trees at us, we need to get going because soon it's going to be deer. That's right. Yep. Yeah, let's hit it. <laughs>